guys, it's Bill Vinci from the Empire Plate Show. Today we're in Johnson City, right outside of Binghamton. We're going to a place called Pecciatori's. Now this place is old school Italian, been around for a long time. Why don't we go inside, meet Susan and the family, see what they got planned for us. Follow me in. I'm doing great. We got Susan's sister and mom here tonight joining us for dinner, which is look, everything looks great. We're gonna let you guys eat. We're not even gonna bother you while you're eating. So, Susan, this is our first time here, and the place is absolutely gorgeous. I gotta say, first thing I noticed when I walked in was old school Italian. I like all the pictures on the wall. The place is just beautiful, and it's packed. Yeah. And I gotta tell you, the we could smell it when we got out of the car and I go, the food already smells fantastic. So tell us a little bit about Cacciatore's and, and how it started. We had another restaurant first. In 1995, we opened up our first restaurant. It was a restaurant bar. And it was open seven days a week, um, lunch, dinner, late night, bands. It was crazy. And we were a young family with two very young children. And we just thought, this isn't good for a young family. This isn't a good lifestyle for us as a young married couple or for our kids. Little spot down the road became available. We made a deal with the landlord and closed one restaurant. Two weeks later, opened up another one. Wow, so mm -hmm. how long have you guys been here? Uh, well, Cacciatore started in November of 2000. Okay. We spent 12 years a half a mile down the road in a little plaza called the Small Mall. And then in 2012, we moved here to this building. Wow. So 19 years all together. So what do you guys know in here food-wise? What are some of your specialties here that when people come in, they're gonna order them? Well, they, they love the bread and salad dressing for sure. Mm -hmm. And I think I say the house pork cutlet. I did hear about that. Yeah. The people at the bar did tell me that. And our pork, pork. chops. Mm -hmm. A few people will tell you, we are an Italian restaurant, but a few people will tell you that we have the best steaks in town. Really? Really delicious steaks. Um, the veal is delicious. Okay. Anything veal. So we got a lot to choose from. You do? Because when I was looking at the menu before we drove up, I always do, and I try to figure out what I'm going to order. I still don't know. I'm getting a lot of different things, the pork, the pasta, the steak, so we got to check out the menu again, but the place is fantastic. We're looking forward to a fun night. What we're going to do next is we're going to order a couple things off the menu. We're going to hit the kitchen and uh, watch them make it, and then we're going to try some of this incredible food. Okay. Susan, very nice meeting you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming down tonight. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm with some friends I met here tonight. How are you guys doing? Good. Great. Great. Now, there's Great. a name for this corner, by the way. They kind of had to fill me in. It's called the Bull <laughs> Corner. Um, so why is that? Why Is this just where you guys come and... It's where the fun people come. It's where the fun people come and hang out. Yes. And the drinkers. Oh, the drinkers. Okay. That kind of makes sense. So tell me a little bit about Cacciatore and, and why you guys come here. Well, personally, I can say the food number one is just fabulous, authentic Italian, delicious every time. When we go out to eat, we're usually eating at other restaurants, five or six different restaurants when we go to lunch or dinner. When we come to Binghamton, we only come here because the food's the greatest. It's always the same, it's consistent, and it's very inexpensive, and everybody's really friendly. So now, they told me there wasn't room. I gotta kind of work my way in, but now we're hearing something a little different. There's, there's always room at the bar. Because everyone here is so friendly, they pull a chair out. 
Well, that's what I'm, I'm hoping. By, by the end of the night, by the time we're done filming, I want to see a chair over there, and I'm going to squeeze myself right in the middle yep. of that crew. Yep, yep. We spend uh, winters in Florida. And, we know. have not found a restaurant in Florida to match this. I'm serious. We're in Southwest Florida. There are a lot of pretenders. Yeah. yeah. This is this is the place this is though. The real yeah. Deal. Wonderful. And now they've got the homemade pasta, mm -hmm. which is, is wonderful. So, so we're gonna eat good tonight. We are. Yeah. We will not be disappointed. That's what I'm looking forward to. So okay. that's what we're gonna be doing next. We're gonna order some stuff off the menu and uh, hit the kitchen and see you make it. Perfect. Very nice meeting you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Got our appetizers brought out to us. We got the uh, fried mozzarella wrapped in prosciutto with a little sauce over it. And we got the uh, stuffed mushrooms. Uh, nice looking apps we got. So we're going to sample these. Our veal parm, our filet should be coming out in a couple minutes. So we're going to eat these and uh, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, dinner has been served and I got the uh, veal parmesan, which she wasn't kidding when she said it fits the whole plate. Two big pieces of veal. We got a uh, little pasta with the uh, vodka sauce. Lop's got this incredible filet over spinach and garlic and butter and everything. It looks incredible. A little side of pasta. So, of course, that's what everybody waits for. Me to take that first bite. So, let's cut into this veal. We're gonna cut nice and easy. You know, I heard about this from a lot of people at the bar saying how tender the veal is and how it just, it, it, when it cuts, you can tell. Look how nice and easy that cuts. Veal, fantastic. The sauce is absolutely incredible. up a great show here today at Cacciatore. Susan and Frank, I want to thank you guys so much for thank having you. us here today. This was awesome. I got to tell you, when I first walked through the door, uh, it felt like old school Italian, and the rest of the night just kind of flowed along with it. Fantastic food, great people. Wait, there's three things you were telling me earlier. What are the three things here? Good food, good prices, good service. There it is. Good food, good prices, and a good service. Plus a great family, uh, and their staff is fantastic. They took care of us tonight. So we had an incredible meal, great drinks, and just good people. So if you haven't been here, make sure you come check this place out here in Johnson City. Which street are we on? Ariel Drive. Ariel Drive, Tories. Uh, it'll be a great experience for you. So I'm gonna be leaving for the night. I'll definitely be back to visit these guys. You guys come check them out. I'm Bill Vinci, host of the Empire Plate Show. You guys have a great night. Woo!